And you know, you ask, you ask your clients who are human beings, you ask them to connect with you. They may think it's weird at first because they're expecting a lawyer in a, you know, in a suit and tie that they're going to meet with across a desk, you know, a barrier between you and them, because that's a barrier, just like a podium is a barrier to you and the jury. They really want it. They really want to have that connection with you. And you go to their home, you meet them at a park, go to church with them. If they're Muslim, go to church with them. If they're Christian, go to church with them. If they're... And just get to know them. What's important? What is important to them? What do they love and why? What have they lost? How does it affect them? What does it feel like? You have to be able to live in, to know what it's like to be in their skin, to have their feelings. If you have a client who, who has problems getting up in the morning, well, get there at 5.30 a.m., have his wife let you in. Tell him, hey, I want to come into your bedroom and see what it's like for you to get up in the morning that's okay, because I'm going to need to tell a jury about it. So I need to understand it for myself. You got to do those things. And if you do, if you do, you'll start to care. It's because you're a human being. We're all loving, caring human beings, and we have things we care about. It'll start to happen just magically. You'll start to think about these, these people and what they're going through. Not just about the money anymore. And then, when you walk in front of a jury, when you walk in front of a jury, you're not fake. You're, ask, you're gonna ask the jury to care. You're gonna be able to tell, tell the, those people, those neighbors in the community, the story that you felt and lived yourself. Not through medical records or a deposition, you're going to ask jurors to make a decision based on medical records and a deposition. That's not what jurors are used to. Jurors make decisions based on emotion, based upon their everything that makes them human. If a person's hurt or if a person's suffering, they know because they listen or they look and they, they use all, everything that's human about them to understand and care about that person that's hurt. They don't look at depositions and prior testimony and medical records. That's not how they do it. And so when we ask a jury to come into a courtroom and then we just shove a bunch of stuff that they're not used to looking at as human beings and tell them to base the case on that, look at the medical bills, look at this, look at that. You're asking them to do something that's not human, something that's unnatural for them. And so they're going to get out of their humanity and they're going to go into their left brain. So my belief is that we should do something different. 